The very first production grade Mamba based large language model has been announced. AI21 Labs has recently announced a new model called Jamba. This model is a hybrid between Mamba and Transformer based model. If all these words that I'm saying do not make any sense to you, then I'm going to give you a very quick primer. Mamba is a new architecture that is called an SSM based architecture. SSM stands for State Space Model. Why people wanted to use SSM is because so the traditional attention based transformer architecture scales quadratically with sequence length. That means if you are increasing the number of tokens that you're going to send to the transformer model, it requires a lot more compute that you cannot even fit it in a single GPU. So hence, people were always looking for an alternative architecture that is one memory efficient that also does not have a quadratic, uh, let's say growth in terms of the compute that is required. And that is how Mamba came to picture as a SSM, a structured state space model. But Mamba itself is not as good as Transformers. I mean, like that's why people started using Transformers in the first place. So what AI21 labs have done is they have like, okay, we'll take Mamba, we'll take Transformers and we'll combine it. I mean, this is one of the questions that came across in a lot of my YouTube videos whenever I've covered Mamba. And the answer to that is right today we have a model that is production grade that is in fact available within Hugging Faces Model Hub. Like you can literally go there and then start using the model if you have got enough compute, obviously. This model is not just a hybrid, simple hybrid model between SSM and Transformers. This is also an MOE, mixture of experts model. So what is this model? Let's uh, quickly see all the headlines about this model. This is the first production grade Mamba based model built on SSM plus Transformers hybrid architecture. This gives three times more throughput on long context when you compare it with a Mixtral 8 7 billion parameter model. Mixtral 8 7 billion parameter model is a mixture of experts model where every token goes through two uh, experts that are active uh, during particular inference. But this model gives three times more throughput. And this model also gives you an access to 256,000 context window. And beyond that, like the 256K is not like a big deal at this point for a lot of models if you see. But what this model also lets you do is, this model is the only model probably in this size class that lets you fit 140k context window on a single GPU. You don't need multiple GPUs, you don't need GPU cluster. Take a single GPU and you can fit 140k context window on a single GPU using this model. The model has been released completely as an open weight. Apache 2.0 license, you can do anything that you want. The model is currently available on Hugging Faces Model Hub and it is going to be available on NVIDIA APA catalog if you want to use it in production with you. This model has got a knowledge cutoff of March 5, 2024 and like I said, this is a joint attention and Mamba architecture. Jamba offers the best of both the world. If you have got Mamba and if you have got Transformers, Mamba's computational efficiency plus Transformers skills, like whatever Transformers do better, this model can do better. And the hybrid is what Jamba offers you. So it try it helps you overcome the large memory footprint because when you have transformers, when you have a large context length, then you need more compute. So it helps you solve that. And also the other problem that people don't realize often is that when you talk about 100K context window or 200K context window, the inference is extremely slow. Like have, if you have ever tried to create 100K context window text output, it would take so much time to do it because the throughput actually goes down. The number of tokens per second goes down and this model helps you in fixing that. So overall, if you see, okay, Transformer has got the highest quality output, Mamba has got the highest throughput, Jamba has got everything. So the lower memory footprint, the higher throughput and the highest quality output, everything is with Ma Jamba. So what is Jamba? Jamba layers allow it to draw on a 12 billion of its 52 billion parameters at inference. So total available parameter is 52 billion parameter and it uses 12 billion parameter at one given time. And that is a mixture of experts architecture. And uh, the hybrid structure also makes it more, e uh, more e efficient than its a transformer only model of an equivalent size. So the 12 billion parameter model here comparably is much better than that 
12 billion parameter equivalent of a transformer based model how does the architecture look like so the way they have designed the architecture is you have got a mamba layer you have got a transformer layer you have got a mamba plus mixture of experts layer so you can see that here the jamba block has got a mamba plus moe layer you have got a mamba layer then you have got a mamba plus moe layer then you have got a transformer layer so this is the way they have built it so they have made completely a new architecture like you know kind of like lego so the architecture features a blocks and layers approach that allows Ma jamba to successfully integrate two different architectures one each jamba block contains either an attention or a mamba layer so each block contains either an attention which is the transformers one or the mamba layer followed by an MLP, a multi-layer perceptron. You can see there is an MLP here, there is an MLP here, producing an overall ratio of one transformer layer out of every eight total layers. I'm not going to get into the details, but the idea here is that to maximize the model's quality and throughput on a single 80 GB GPU, they have optimized the number of MOE layers and the exports used, primarily with a 80 GB GPU in mind, leaving enough memory for all the common inference workloads. And uh, the thing that I was talking about one is the amount of memory that you need, but the other one is the efficiency of throughput. Uh, how much can you produce when you're talking about higher context window? And as you can see here, the blue color line is the Llama 2 70 billion parameter. The orange color line is Mixtral 8 7 billion parameter, which is an MOE. And when you talk about 128K context window, look at the throughput. In fact, the Mistral has less than half of what Mamba Jamba can offer you. So Jamba is closer to like somewhere around, let's say 1500 tokens per second. And Mixtral, if you see here, Mixtral is somewhere here, which is like somewhere around 300. So, uh, sorry, 500. So it gives you three times more number of tokens per second for a higher context window. So not just that it supports higher context window for the sake of supporting, but you can actually generate because currently if you see most of the higher context window models, you're using it for ingestion, like for in context, context learning. But this one lets you use it for generation as well. And in terms of cost, Jamba can fit 140,000 context on a single GPU, enabling more accessible opportunities uh, for a deployment and all the other things which is currently not that easy with, uh, let's say, models that support higher context window where you have to actually build a GPU cluster yourself. Overall, I'm honestly like very impressed with this model and uh, I'm quite surprised that not a lot of people are talking about this model and that's the whole point of this video. The model's benchmarks will definitely use the model and then compare it. But if you see the benchmarks out of the box from the model, the model is good, really good for a new architecture for supporting a higher context window with higher throughput and also for supporting lesser memory footprint. I think this model is doing an extremely good job when you compare it with Llama 2, 13 billion, Llama 2, 70 billion, Gemma, 7 billion from Google, Mixtral, 8, 7 billion parameters. MOE model, if you compare it, Jamba scores the highest on Hellaswag. Jamba scores not that great with Arc Challenge, but it is decent. And then on Vinograde, PQA, so all these reasoning things, Jamba is doing good and on other assessments like MMLU, Jamba is like 67.4%. Not very bad. So if you see, for example, Llama 2, 7, 13 billion parameter is 54.8. While this is a MOE where 12 billion parameter is active at a given inference time, it scores 70 point, uh, sorry, 67.4. And there are other benchmarks like Truthful QA, GSM 8K. This model is doing much better than, uh, let's say, the other models like Llama to 13 billion, Llama to 70 billion, Gemma 7 billion, while it is on par with Mixtral 8x 7 billion parameter model, offering lesser memory footprint and also higher context window and higher throughput. I think this is an exciting time to s pay more attention into this particular new type of architecture. This is again, like not pure Mamba, it is not pure transformer based model like all the other models that we have like Mixtral and all the other models. This is combining these two and this is a production grade model and you can start using the model right away going here. I'm yet to try the model. I'm not sure what is the memory footprint that I need to use, whether I can fit it in Google Colab. I've been trying to use the 8-bit uh, model because I thought maybe I can try to fit it in Google Colab, but I'll see. Uh, if I manage to fit it in Google Colab, I'll make a separate video. Otherwise, I'll try to use it on a cloud provider and then see how we can fit this model and then use this model. Model. Either way, I think this is extremely exciting for a new architecture 
and thanks to AI21 Labs for making this completely open source with the model weights Apache 2.0 license. See you in another video. Happy prompting.